Today, we are in Grafsen for the third BHPC event of the season. I will be riding a new bike, the Slyway Ultra High Racer from Italy. Contrary to the usual high racer, it has all the latest cycling technology. Hydraulic disc brakes, true axles, wide rims, internal cables, threadless bottom brackets. It also has better wheels and better tires. The other bike does not have enough clearance for modern wheels. The Grafsen track is quite challenging, as it is quite twisty and it is not flat. So it is going to be a great test to see if that bike is fast and has good handling. Assuming I don't crash out of a corner, it is also quite light, which should help in the small hill. There will be four races. A 15-minute race around the oval track I'm cycling on now. A 45 minutes race on a longer hilly track. A one-lap time trial on the hilly track. And a 90 minutes race on the hilly track. Gemma here will be riding a fully fared bike, which might be challenging, as this track tends to be windy. Dan Bergonzi will be riding a no-com. The fastest bike today should be Russell Bridges Woodstock Streamliner, but the difference in speed with the unfair bikes won't be as big as usual because of the sharp turns and the small hill. It will take some skills to ride it around this track. The first race is the slow race. 15 minutes plus one lap. Peter Watson is riding a home-built eye racer. After a couple of laps, Alan Goodman is winning the race on his new support trike. Peter Watson on his skinny pants eye racer seems to be overtaking people. Gemma in her F1 streamliner is catching up with Alan Goodman. Peter Watson on his eye racer is also gaining ground. Gemma in her F1, Streamliner has taken the lead of the race. Alan Goodman and Jay Charleswood on their tracks are battling for the second place. Gemma in her Streamliner is ahead of Alan Goodman and Jay Charleswood on their tracks. They are about to be overtaken by Peter Hutchinson on his eye racer. Gemma in a streamliner and Peter Hutchinson on his R racer are battling for the first place. Jerry Charwood on the SLR trike has taken the third place and is leading the multi track classification. Gemma in her F1 streamliner has won the race. Peter Hutchinson takes the second place. Now is the time for the fast race. We are going to know if that new bike is fast. I am starting ahead, but my foot is not clipped properly into the pedal. So Joren on his M5 low racer is overtaking me. Russell Bridge in his Woodstock Streamliner is right behind me and followed by John Lucian on his Pelso Brode. There is no banking in the corners, so it is harder to go flat out. It is time to see what this bike can do. I am launching an attack to take the lead. Russell Bridge in his Woodstock Streamliner is overtaking Johan Faber on his M5 Low Racer.
I am lapping Kim Wall on the Optima Baron the Racer. Russell Bridge in his Woodstock Streamliner is finally overtaking me. Overtaking can be challenging, as it is easy to go too fast in the turn and go off track. Slash did that a couple of years ago. The Streamliner is not getting rid of me as fast as I thought it would. Maybe that new bike is helping a little bit. I'm lapping John Lucian on his pace au Bove. Now I am lapping Eng Yong Kong on his performer low racer and Andrew Sidwell on his rat racer. In the end, Yoen on his M5 low racer won't catch up with me. And I will finish second behind Russell Bridge in his Woodstop Streamliner. Now is the time for the 45 minutes race on a much more challenging track. I am attacking straight away. We are not split into slow and fast race, so the track will be slightly busier. The first part of the track is downhill towards a sharp corner. People have been coming off at this corner, so it is better to be careful. When I need to use the brake, I now have hydraulic disc brakes, so it should be easier. I don't have any issue in the turn. After a few kilometers, Russell Bridge in his Woodstock Streamliner is finally catching up with me. We are starting the uphill part of the track, so that won't be the best place to overtake me. He's overtaking me as soon as we are no longer going uphill. After 10 kilometers, Johan Farve on his M5 low racer is catching up with me. I'm actually taking the turns too slowly. As soon as we reach a small uphill section, I have the upper end. Yet again, he caught up with me in the turns. But I'm getting away again in the small uphill part. Finally, Joran on his M5 low racer is overtaking me. Russell Bridge in his Woodstock Streamliner is lapping me.
I am losing some ground in the turns, but I am hoping to get the time back in the uphill part. I don't want to take risks. We also have to get around the traffic jams without losing too much ground. Here I am catching up with Yuren as he is slowed down by slower riders. Everything is going as planned, as I am safely back with him. Yet again, I'm losing time in the turns. But now is the time to launch an attack. attack will be successful and I will take the second place behind Russell Bridge in his Woodstock Streamliner. After that there is a one lap time trial that Russell Bridge will win ahead of John Lucian on his Peso Brevet and me in third place. The only video I got for this is the end of Kim Wall run on her Optima Baron Low Racer. Now is the time for the final race, 90 minutes plus one lap. Yet again, I am attacking straight away. This is starting with the downhill section. This time I don't appear to lose time in the turns. Like in the previous race, Russell Bridge in Woodstock Streamliner is catching up with me after a few kilometers. He's obviously much faster in the descent. Staying behind me for a full lap. Then this happens. He has to stop because of a flat tire. That means I am still leading the race. Andrew Sidwell on his rat racer will fall off his bike a few laps later, cornering here. This time, Yoren on his M5 low racer is not able to come back. And I will win the race ahead of him. The new back has behaved pretty well in those races. Stay tuned for more videos.